guys, I'm so excited you're here today. We're going to be again talking about Glam Polish and we're going to be looking at their June release. This collection is going to go live on June 1st, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time U.S. And the collection is called Mermaid at Heart and there are 10 aquatic themed, flaky filled, beautiful jelly polishes. They're so stunning. They're so magical. I love flakies because that's really what they look like. It looks like magic on the nail to me. So we're going to go ahead and get into live swatches. I'm kind of like feeling in the Disney mood. I've got this ridiculous top knot on the top of my head. Um, it's making me feel like I'm Belle today. So anyway, we're just going to go with it. You're not going to be seeing me much longer in this review anyway because we're going to be looking at these nail polishes. <laughs> As you are aware, if you've been with me here on my channel, we're going to do live application and what that will give you hopefully is a better look at the formula of these, an idea of how they're going to apply, if they're going to be any trouble for you, which here's a little secret for you, glam polish is never trouble. And then you will be prepared with what you want to put into your cart on June 1st. I don't want you to miss out on any of these. I will link in the description bar below where you can go to check out their website. So the first polish I'm going to start with is this beautiful berry shade and this one is called Mermaid Kisses and Starfish Wishes. And this one is described as a fuchsia jelly with pink gold, pink to gold to green iridescent flakies. So they're all gonna be these beautiful shifting things. Um, they also has pink to purple to green iridescent flakies, shifting iridescent micro glitter and fine hollow micro glitter. I believe these all have a hollow element as well as the flakies. That's what I noticed when I was swatching them. And if you guys like flakies, well, this is your little personal heaven as it was mine. These are all so special. It's like impossible to figure out which one I love better. First off, their formula is just so good. I never have a single issue. They just slide on so easily and I'm never disappointed with the saturation of color. Ugh. I just have such a soft spot in my heart for these polishes. So as you can see, this is a beautiful, um, just, it's described as a fuchsia, but I'm feeling almost more like a berry shade. In any case, um, this is lovely. With all of these polishes, except for maybe one, I felt like some of you are definitely gonna look at them and say, that needs to be three coats. Some of you will look at it and say, oh yeah, definitely stop at two. So what I did in the live application, which I, sh I showed you two to three coats, whether depending on what I thought, most of what you're gonna look at is three coats just because I wanted to make sure and get rid of all the VNL. And the reason in case you're wondering why a polish is sheer or more, more opaque, these are described as jellies because they need to be a thinner formula in order for you to see um, not only a thinner formula, but a less opaque formula in order for you to see all the complexity of the flakies and the hollows. But mostly those flakies, what will happen is the formula, the, it will lay on the nail bumpy and not as pleasant for you. They're going to they're gonna be slightly bumpy, but that can be fixed easily with a top coat. But to give you a good example, if you remember those metallics from OPI that have the little bits, whether it's flakies or glitters or whatever in a minute, ends up looking lumpy like oatmeal on the nail. That's because that formula wasn't jelly-like enough. So it needs to be a little bit more sheer so that you can really get the complexity of all those cool shifty flakies and glitters and all that good stuff. So you just take your time and you just build up and three coats is absolute perfection. So that's what we were looking at for this one, Mermaid Kisses and Starfish Wishes. This is three coats. The next pink in the collection is called It's a Shore Thing and this one is a fluorescent pink. Um, it's described as a bright pink jelly but it really, really almost looks fluorescent, you guys. It says it has green to purple iridescent flakies and pink to purple to green iridescent flakies and fine hollow micro glitter. So it's really going to get redundant of me to keep selling, telling you how beautiful these are. It, this is a no-brainer as you're watching. They are all magical and beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Just really depends on what kind of color combos you like the best. But there's absolutely nothing in here that I just didn't, my jaw just didn't just drop straight down to the table as I was swatching. So anyway, yes, these are beautiful anywhere you go and outside you're going to see all those flakies and all the holographic micro glitter. Just so beautiful. I said I was going to stop saying that, huh? But I can't help it. All right, this one's perfect for this collection because it's a coral and it's a really, really bright coral too. Okay, so this one's called Wish Upon a Clownfish. And this one is described as a watermelon jelly, how fun, huh? With red to gold iridescent flakes. Those are really, really bright, by the way. They look so cool in this polish. Shifting iridescent glitter and fine hollow micro, glit micro glitter. 
let me get that out. I'm going to be using that word a lot in this review, so I need to be able to say glitter. Um, this one was one of my favorites, actually. I really loved how bright that um, red to gold shift is in this flaky in particular. Although, all the pinks and the greens and the blue flakes are really cool, too. But this one was really, really catching my eye, how that gold really flashes at you. So, anyway, um, yes, this one's described as a watermelon, but if you're looking for a coral, I think this totally fits, too. So this is three coats of Wish Upon a Clownfish. All right, let's jump over to a couple of greens. There's definitely a more, it's, it's a cool toned green, but one looks more green and one looks more teal. So let's go with the green one first. So this one's called The Seaweed is Always Greener. And this one is described as a sea green crelly with green, purple, green to purple to indigo iridescent flakies, blue to purple iridescent flakies, Fine hollow micro glitter, iridescent micro glitter, and a hint of turquoise micro flakies. So fun. Oh, you guys, the blue really stands out against the green base. It's so, so bright. I love it so much. Glam polish. Yes, please. Do more of these. <laughs> I'm such a fan. Okay, fangirling all over these polishes. So this applies just like the rest. Really recommend the seaweed is always greener. The next polish in the collection is this teal one that I was referencing and it's called Let the Sea Set You Free. And this one is described as a teal crelly with pink to purple to green iridescent flakies and fine hollow micro glitter. Mm. So pretty you guys. So it's similar to the last one we looked at but it's definitely different. has totally different flakies in there and you can see a lot of purple bouncing off against this teal base. <laughs> you guys, I just love polish too much. This is too gorgeous. It makes me too happy. Okay, that's a good thing, right? I mean, we all need some things to make us happy. All right, so I'm just being a gawking fool and just can't stop staring at these flakies. So I'm swatching this for you at three coats and another favorite for sure. All right, we have two polishes next for you and here's what they look like. One is more of a blue blue and one is more like going towards purple. All right, so let's start with the lighter one. This one's called Life is the Bubbles, and let me read you the description. It's described as a bright azure blue jelly with green to purple to indigo iridescent flakies, green to purple iridescent flakies, and fine hollow micro glitter. So really the ones that combine all the colors of the flakies. There are some flakies out there that try to really call themselves a rainbow flaky, but I think to get this level of brilliance in the flaky, it was really smart to combine multiple kinds so that you really have a strong presence of all the colors, you know what I mean? Anyway, what I was saying is the one that the ones that really have all these shades in here really looks like fish. It's just so cool. So this is Life is the Bubbles, and I did three coats. This is just a perfect ocean blue. Next up, a definite favor for me because it's going towards purple and it has these beautiful, well, it has lots of colors of flakies in here, but these green ones really stand out. So this one's called Just Keep Swimming, Swimming, Swimming. And this one is described as a sapphire blue jelly with pink to purple to green flakies and fine hollow micro glitter. Oh, sigh, I just love it so much. Okay, so I'm doing three coats here, just as with the rest of them. As you can see, it just applies so easily like the rest. All the photos I didn't mention before, but I think that it was kind of implied. All the photos are with a delicious glossy top coat. So this is three coats of just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. All right, moving on to the purples. So first up we have the lighter, but still kind of dark purple. And this one's called The Tide is High. And let me tell you the description here. This is an indigo jelly with blue to purple iridescent flakies and green to purple iridescent flakies with fine hollow micro glitter. So yes, just as the rest, this applies so beautifully in three coats. Like I said, you could stop at two if you want to. It just really depends on how you like your polishes to look and all that delicious, very delicate micro hollow glitter. So beautiful. So three coats of The Tide is High. All right, this next polish is the one that's been on my thumb during the close-up live application if you've been wondering when this one was gonna come. As soon as I pulled this out, I just kept gasping with each new polish if you watched me open these on Snapchat, but this one I knew I was going to just be absolutely crazy for. So this one is, I was thinking it was a blackberry shade, 
So this one is called Dream Big Little Mermaid and it's described as a dark purple jelly with pink to purple to green iridescent flakies and blue to purple iridescent flakies and fine hollow micro glitter, you guys. This is so beautiful. Totally different look than the rest of them. The rest of them are all a little bit more lighthearted. This kind of represents, you know, maybe the darker things that are in the ocean. Quite frankly, the things that kind of scare me, but this is so beautiful and that fuchsia. The fuchsia flaky in here is just killing it. It's probably because of the two iridescent flakies in here, both of them have purple as part of the component. Anyway, it's so beautiful, definitely a favorite. This is the one that I felt comfortable stopping at two coats with. So that's all I'm gonna show you, but you could of course go for that third if you would like to. As with, you know, you're able to go for just two coats if you wanted to for all the rest. You know, like I said, it's really just depends on how you like to wear it. So this is Dream Big Little Mermaid. Okay, so we're to the last polish, and this is a topper. So as with toppers, you, you can wear it over anything. I tend to show a lot of toppers over black, especially if they have flakies or hollow or anything like that, so you can really let everything bounce off of it and make sure you see all the colors. I didn't want it to any of the colors to be disguised by, like, if I did it on a blue base or a red base, but oh my goodness, this is going to look so good over both of those colors, over any color, really, and flakies look so beautiful mattified. Okay, so <laughs> this is called... Secrets in the Sand. Sorry, I'm laughing just because this is so divine. It's so, so, so good. All right, let me tell you how it's described. This is a clear base with a mix of pink to purple to green iridescent flakies, green to purple iridescent flakies, blue to purple green, green to purple to indigo, basically all the kinds of the flakies that showed up in the other polishes. They're all in here, so it's a rainbow of everything, and you're seeing as I'm applying it on my nail. I'm only doing one coat here, because you don't really need any more than that. So many flakies come out in just that one swatch, I didn't really feel the need to overwhelm my nail with more layers of the flakies, although you could if you wanted to. Just see all the beautiful color, oh my goodness, and then it also has that beautiful hollow micro glitter, so this is going to look just like the rest when you go outdoors. These brands with these toppers this year are just killing it. I love this so much. Definitely a favorite, if not my very favorite out of the whole collection just for its versatility, and it has every single kind of flaky in there. So, so fun. So yes, this is San Secrets in the Sand, and that was just one coat over black. You can wear this over anything, you guys. Oh my goodness. So many possibilities. So like I said, I think that topper is a must-have. For me, that Blackberry Jelly is a must-have. Pretty much the whole collection is a must-have, so it's really hard for me to pick favorites. Favorites are just based on my own personal preferences on color, just because I don't care for a lot of pink, like I don't enjoy wearing it that much, does not mean that those ones were any less formula, which is the reason for me showing you Live Vacation so that you can see. My preferences are always the greens, the purples, and the blues, you guys know. So I really, in fact, recommend this entire collection to you, but as you saw from the live application, they're all fantastic. Just pick which ones you like the colors of the best. Um, but yeah, that topper for sure, snag that topper. So anyway, you guys, I hope that you found this helpful. Again, this is launching June 1st at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So mark your calendars, don't forget, they are stunning. If you haven't tried Glam Polish yet, this is your perfect chance to try it. And go ahead and check out a few of the other Glam Polish videos on my channel, because you're probably gonna find a few polishes from those collections too that you wanna snag while you're shopping for these ones. All right, you guys, so that is gonna be it. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I love you guys so much. I will see you back for the next one. Bye.